stream of how to make hi everybody i guess i'm live now <laughs> this is a live stream how to make ahi tuna poke hawaiian raw tuna salad and you need sesame oil some type of soy sauce your choice i like this because it's stronger some uh honey and you can use this because it's got sesame and onions and everything. Why not? And these are from my garden, these scallions. And first thing, we're going to be cubing these up. And um, Ellie, can you get a, tea, a teaspoon, teaspoons uh, measurements? Hi. So pardon the mess. It's like so windy. And I'm doing this really quick because... You know, it's Father's Day, and I got to bring something, right, for people. So, anyway, first I'm going to cube this, and my um, niece is here. They're in from California, so she's going to get the, is this a teaspoon? Yep. Okay. She's going to take hold of the gimbal, so please excuse her. She's never um, used the gimbal before. So, can you see this? Yep. Okay, so this is how you do it, guys. You just need to make it cubed. Sorry, I'm Asian. This is what I use. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to use this cleaver. You know, if you have a favorite knife, whatever. You kind of see the grain. You kind of want to go with the grain. And now because the grain expanded, you just kind of, you know, you just want about, what is that, about half an inch like this. Mine's going to be cubed, you know. It gets slippery. Anyway, so this is the idea. You're going to go like this. Whoops, there was a piece behind there. Photo Luke Hawaii says, wow, that knife cuts really good. This is from Chinatown. My mom helped me pick it out because I was like, me and my sister use these. And you're going to make sure you have a bowl ready because you're going to have cubed. This is from Costco Wild, Wild Tuna that I just bought. And it doesn't have a fishy smell. Does it smell fishy to you? No, it doesn't it really have. It shouldn't have a fishy smell when you go select it. You should see mostly this colors. It's okay if you have these colors, but you don't want the whole steak to be those colors. You know what I'm saying? That's how you pick it out. So now I'm just cub cubing it up. This process, you know, just you're making raw salad, you know? So it's going to be like that big. Man, it's, it's like, so, like, today is windy and it's normally like 110 outside, right? But it's only 90, but it's like weird. And I'm all like puffy and crazy. See, this is the hard part where you got the lines and you kind of try to stay with the grain when you cube it. Just kind of stay with the grain. And you, you might have to, I don't know what kind of knife you're using, but you just got to keep it in the shape so it looks nice, you know, when you're serving it. You don't want it all different, different cuts, you know, that looks honky, wonky, honky, honky. wonky. wonky. <laughs> I've never heard of honky wonky before. I, I just stick with me. I make up really good phrases at any time randomly. Photo Luke Hawaii says, "I'm at a bond dance practice. I'll watch more later." Thanks, cool. Linda. See you later. Okay, so you just cube it up. Sometimes it'll give by itself. Just let it do its thing. Whatever. Tuna will talk. 
Tuna has its own tuna mind. Tuna has its own voice. Okay, where's the grain here? This one is, we can't tell, so you just go anywhere. Ooh, just, that's the premium part. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. From Costco Wild. When I saw it, I was like, oh yeah. I'm going to make some poke. We have two thumbs up. Thank you, people. Um, go with, you know, all tuna I was told is wild. You can't actually farm tuna. You know? But this is a beautiful color, this, this kind. Look at that coloring. And then they don't add coloring. This is the real true color of the tuna. So see, um, you see the grain is here. You just kind of want to get the square going, make it like a square sort of, about a half an inch. And then when you get in a difficult part like this, just try to get it into a square. Because what happens is you'll mash it like this and you don't want that happening. This one's a difficult. There we go. You can, um, you know the sushi snacks? I mean, su the uh, seaweed snacks that come in a rectangular container? You can put this on a seaweed snack with like a teaspoon of rice. Kind of like sushi. Yeah, and eat it, you know, like a really healthy, really good snack, you know. That knife really does cut good. Man, you got to have the cleaver, man. That's the Vietnamese style. See, the grain is kind of thick, so that was hard. It had like a little bit of a vein. You don't want it to stick like this. You want to cut that. You might even want to eliminate it if you have time. Just take that out, the string, the muscle string. See, you want to be careful. Don't get your fingers. It's best to go like this, like a chef. Sorry, sorry about my nail polish. I didn't have time. It's always good to rinse the tuna too before you start this right out of the package. You don't even have to marinate it because you're making a salad. And what you're adding is like salad dressing. The concept of that. Those fatty parts would taste good. So this is what it looks like so far. Okay. Put your fingers like out of harm's way when you cleave. Not be good if you cut your finger. I have a lot of experience with that though. <laughs> so um, here's the grain. Again, we're going See, you want a nice clean cut. See? You don't want to smush the tuna. It's it was already tenderized, I guess, when they package it, because look, it's already smushed. I didn't do that. <clears throat> oh, there's some of the muscle part I was talking about. It's good to get rid of that too, some, you know, you might want to put that aside. If you get a big string. No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> Sometimes you get to the end of the steak. Be careful because tuna slips too. So. This is not for like children. This is not a children's recipe. Children, 
Ellie said she never had this. Ellie, the one holding the gimbal, my niece. You never had it, huh? Nope. There's all kinds of variations. This one's very simple. I'm making a very simple. Try to get that. We can eat it, but for time's sake, I'm not going to take the strings out. We don't have all day to cut tuna live. But some people don't know how to cut it, so it's good to show, you know, show people. Yep. Because tuna is so tender, you can smush it, just like I was saying. Sometimes it gets packaged smush, too. Like this one, it's smush. Let the knife, don't... Let the knife kind of take it, you know. And then you might, because it's so tender, you might have to hack it without your finger there, of course. Do not put your finger this there. this is so tender, it's not like this. I actually have to give it like, let the tuna and the knife work together, you know. That, it's kind of hard when it's too tender like this. Um, people have different techniques. This is what works for me. I like doing it this way. You can figure it out on your own. This is the basics, you know. That's our bowl right there. And that's our tuna. We're almost <laughs> done, and then I'll season it up here. Ellie, you did try sushi though, right? No, Ethan did. Ethan did. Ethan is our, her brother. My nephew, of course. That tuna cuts easily. Yeah, because it's the steak part. See how, that's, that's beautiful. This could feed a lot of people, too. Yeah, look how much tuna we have right there. It's a beautiful, beautiful texture and quality from Costco. I was blown away. I was like, whoa! Okay. There it is. Now you're going to um, start adding your dressing, like, like a salad. This what we use for our dressing. Mm -hmm. So you got your scallions, hopefully from your garden, <laughs> and you want them really thin. I just use, you know, one of these. You don't have to. I could also slice it really fast with that cleaver, but we're just going to use this right now. <laughs> See, so this is what we thin strips. In fact, um, let me just take a, the little one, you know. There we go. It's easier to cut with them like this if they're all the same size. Faster. You don't have to do it this way, but it works for me. This is this not this uh, scissor is almost worn out. See, it's cracked. <laughs> <laughs> That's how often I use these scissors. So, you, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to 
Get your fresh scallions. That's a little brown. This one's a little too big. Well, they're flying everywhere. <laughs> they're flying. They're so fresh that they're flying. These are more like the cut the sizes together. So I don't know how much tuna you're going to buy. I don't get any measurements with the tuna. Sorry. You're going to have to eyeball it. Plus some people don't like so much of this and so much of that. You just have to experiment. And this is what I do. Or they like more of something. Yeah. Everybody has different tastes and everybody, this is just the basics, you know. Or just what she likes. There's so many variations. Some people use mayonnaise in theirs, not me. They like mayonnaise in theirs. They make it a tartare, you know. Tuna tartare, poke, whatever. <laughs> Fusions. Tartare poke. <laughs> Tartar, tartare. Tartare and a cracker. You could do so much. You can eat this with rice. On the seaweed snack I was talking about, on a cracker, with the sriracha, you know, people, you can add spice to this. You don't have to use sriracha. Everybody's getting sick of sriracha. <laughs> you can use aioli. Whatever you want. Just make up your own stuff. Just run with it. Okay, so we need a teaspoon of honey. I like raw. I go with raw honey. I don't know about you. That's what I do. And a Local teaspoon. Local honey. A teaspoon. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. I need like a. I'm gonna grab some chopsticks and some tablespoons, and we're just gonna use the same thing. Who cares? It's going in the same place. So what'd you just put in? This is tamari. It's soy sauce stronger, reduced sodium. You don't have to use that. It's just I like the taste of this kind of stuff. You could use plain soy sauce. Or, anyway, and this is sesame oil. It's cold pressed. You put it in the fridge. It doesn't stay outside. You need sesame oil on the tuna. See that? And I'm eyeballing it. I'm just eyeballing it, so... I don't know how much tuna you bought. Whoops, there goes a piece. In my mouth. <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. Yeah, so you're just dressing it. You know. And then this stuff is the bomb. This has sea salt, garlic, and onion, and black sesame and white sesame seeds. So you're going to sprinkle it on there, be generous, very generous. And you don't have to add the, either. You you don't need everything but this bagel seasoning. You can use plain sesame, whatever you want to do. And it's ready. I'm going to try it really quick to see. Hold, stay right there, just focus on that. I said I was at Costco. Oh my gosh, these things are crazy. Seaweed crunch with almonds. I'm gonna do this just to see how it tastes right now, if it's seasoned enough. I think it needs more soy sauce or more sesame. Comment down below if you're hungry. <laughs> there needs more tamari. You want it to like almost be a little with the tuna color. It needs more on um, this. Well, you see why I use reduced salt. 
You know what? I'm just going to add some more Himalayan, pink Himalayan. There we go. Now it has sea salt and pink Himalayan. And I don't think it needs any more sesame oil. If you think it's missing something, just I'm going to try. It. Let me see. These have almonds in them. Let me get a little bit of scallion. It's hot in here. Oh, see that means perfect. We're done. And yeah. there we go. And there we go. Time to go now. Bye. Happy fathers to the fathers. <laughs> Word to the fathers. <laughs> and the mothers that are the fathers. What? It's hot. I know it's hot. I'm getting silly. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to come.